Be ye ever ready. Good morning. Today's power scripture comes from Matthew 24, verse 36 and verse 44. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. 44. Therefore be ye also ready. For in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. On the Mount of Olives, Jesus was telling his disciples about the signs of the end times and warning them through the use of parables that they must always be prepared, for no one knows the exact time that it will happen. We chide about global events that spurn discussions of the end times. When bizarre things occur or strange events seem to happen in succession, we often say, the signs are getting closer, Time to pull out the broom and get our house in order because Jesus is coming soon. We may joke about the CNN reports and the world news updates, but as Christians we all know that our Savior has promised to return and that we do not know the day nor the hour, but that we must be prepared and we must be ready. In the next chapter, chapter 25 of Matthew, Jesus tells the parable of the ten bridesmaids. Only half were considered wise, the other half foolish. All were deemed for perfection, yet when the test came, they were split in half, five being the number of grace. When the time came, when the rubber hit the road, when the stuffing hit the fan, when the final buzzer rang, when the gift of grace was put to the test, five knew how to use the gift of grace that was given and they were prepared. Five, because of their inability to be ready, fell short. They had in their hand the lamps that they needed, but they were still unprepared because they had no extra oil. What's in your hand? Do you take for granted the tools God has provided to light your way and give you direction? The foolish took their lamps, yet they had no provision for the uncertainty that was sure to lie ahead. The coming of the bridegroom was not something that was a usual occurrence. It was a once-in-a-lifetime event, and yet to them it was not important enough to treat with the special forethought that it deserved. God places things in our hands for us to use in preparation for the uncertain yet important events that lie ahead for us. Because the tools, gifts, talents that we have been graced with become second nature to us, do we forget their prime purpose? Do we overlook or take for granted their importance? Or do we always make sure that what we have in hand maintains its value and its use? God gives us certain skills. We must not let them wear thin, get rusty or dusty, outdated, lose credibility, grow dull, collapse, become invalid, expire, need tuning, or go flat. We must be ever ready. Lamps without oil are as useless as incomplete school transcripts, unfinished projects, neglected relationships, untapped potential, and untamed egos. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. A gun without bullet cannot stop a charging beast. A pen without ink cannot sign thoughts into law. A dull blade is useless in cooking. The wheels of ingenuity cannot turn with rusted parts. Don't let your God-given gifts go awry. They have a specific purpose in your destiny. Keep them ready and sharp for God's glory. Every day is a good day. It is up to us to make it a power-packed great day. Be blessed. Be ready. Dr. Joanne.